Hello YouTube. Recently got in discussion with someone over the handgun stopping power and the uh, claim of the one shot stop. And this person claimed that the reason he carries a 45 is because, well, if I only need one bullet, then it's got the best one shot, one shot stop of anything else, and I only need the one bullet. For starters, the one shot stop, yeah, it's a percentage of number of shootings where one bullet stopped the individual. It doesn't say if they killed them, it just says that they stopped them. Now, for starters, the 44 or the 45 ACP is not the top of the list when it comes to the one shot stop. The 357 Magnum is. It was a 125 grain 357 Magnum, uh, Federal Jack to the Hollow Point, and it has a 96% one shot stop rate. Out of 641 shootings, it had a rate of 615 stops, one shot stops. The uh, highest 45 is right behind it. Federal 230 grain uh, jacket hollow point, or excuse me, the, the Hydra Shock, which jacket jacket hollow point, but it's the Hydra Shock. That was 173 shootings with a one shot stop of 166 of those. And that that is this person's claim. So, well, well, that's it, it, you know, it's got the best one shot stop after it. All it doesn't, but that's kind of beside the point. And I think people are getting hung up on the whole, with well, just part of the whole thing with debating the caliber. Is the 45 ACP, ACP better at the one shot stop? Yes and no, according to these statistics, it is. But is that really the only point? Are you relying on one bullet to do the job? Do you think you should be practicing? something something better like you know the Mozambique drill where you fire two shots to the to the body to the torso you know center mass and then one shot to the head as a follow-up in case there is a st the person doesn't stop that's what I think you should be practicing because you don't you can't rely on one one bullet doing the job every single time that'd be stupid that's like if you if everybody even did that for hunting, they'd only have single shot rifles. I guarantee you there are people out there who have shot deer with more than one bullet because the first one didn't do the job. You don't sit there and wait around and go, eh, well he'll die eventually. That's not what you wait for. And again, this comes back to the whole which caliber for a handgun is best. You can debate that. That's gonna be an endless debate, it has been for years. I remember it being the 357 Magnum versus the 45. I remember it being the 38 Special versus the 9 mm It goes on and on, and it always will. Personally, to me, it depends on the shooter. Now, I have carried 45s for years, many, many years, including you know 1911s, 1911 subcompacts, Glocks. Uh, I have carried one or another, but. I do prefer 9mm. Why? Because I can get rounds more accurately on target with a 9mm. And 9mm, even when it comes to the one-shot stop, is no slouch if you want to go there. The best is the Spear 9mm Plus P 124 grain gold dot. Out of 74 shootings, 65 of those were one-shot stops, which brings it to 88%. It's no slouch. It's not up to the 45 or up to the 357, but it's much more shootable, especially in the smaller subcompact guns and concealed carry, which is more popular now. You give someone, say, a Smith & Wesson bodyguard, 9mm, Brita Nano, something like that, and then hand them a, a Glock 36, 45, a, 45 ACP subcompact. Point them at the target, say, okay, we want five rounds on target as fast as you can put them there. I guarantee the 45 is going to look like, you know, Ray Charles with a Newsy, which is how this person that I know shoots. They they depend on that one, they depend on the bullet. The other argument I hear is that, well, if I don't hit the person right where I want to be, the 45 is still going to stop them. That is a load of crap. You have sights on your gun to put the bullet on target, not 
close, not close enough, not good enough. It's supposed to be where you, you are supposed to be pointing, putting that bullet where it needs to go. Not, well, if I don't hit him exactly where I'm supposed to, it's just still going to take him down. No, not really. Because if you miss anything vital, the person's going to still be standing there. You, you're aiming for center mass, heart, lungs, uh, arteries, things that are going to put the person down, if need be. You don't go out and shoot a deer or something like that with a rifle. Well, well gee, I hit him in the gut. Well, it's good enough. He'll die eventually. No, you aim for the vitals. But I think a lot of the one-shot stop nonsense is for people who just don't know any better and claim to. I mean, it's, it's good statistics. It's good to have. But to try and rely on that and that alone, it's nonsense. So there's my thoughts on that today, YouTube. I'll have a good day.